This one's a little tricky. It took me a bit of time to figure this one out. So watch this. There's kind of an A part and a B part. So you've got a head, and I think the terminology is it's a little bit weird. It says an acceleration of 50 G. Now when you say 50 G, this pen is bad. That's fine. That means G is the acceleration of gravity on Earth. So it really means 50 times 9.8 meters per second squared. That's the acceleration of gravity on the Earth. So it's 50 times 9.8, or 490 meters per second squared. So that's what it's really getting at, is what you're going to use that. And then what you want to do is figure out what's the maximum acceleration, part A. Um, and you know the acceleration is velocity over time. So if you know that, you can solve for the answer to the question. Note that the time is given in milliseconds, so you're going to have to do a conversion on that one. And then when you move to letter B, um, it asks what is the slowest survivable distance which the head could come to rest. Now on that, you're going to want to use kind of the master equation. So on that one, you're going to use the master equation. Let me get a different pen. The master equation of, of Remember, we learned about the three equations in the last ball game. That there's three key equations, but the one you're going to use is that x equals um, x initial plus v initial t plus one half a t squared. So you're solving for x. The initial x is zero. The initial velocity. Um, it's actually moving at a certain speed, but you're just talking about acceleration, so that's going to be zero. So you're just going to plug it into AT squared, because you'll know the time was 30 milliseconds, and you know the acceleration, and you're going to just solve for the distance, where the A is this 50 times 9.8.